two hang-ups that the leadership is trying to... The likes of Prevent Plan and what we've got now for the ground that can't be planted have never been tested even close to the means that they're being tested this year across the Midwest. Traditionally, they may see that in some of the southern states and dealing with some of the other crops, mm -hmm. but we've never went to this extended period of a wet, you know, a wet year where actually, you know, in our opinion, it's not only the overhead moisture that we've dealt with, but right now we're dealing with such high groundwater issues. You know, the water table has literally set and it's not moving, and so what appears to be dry on top is not underneath, so they can't get on this ground. We just we want to plant the crop and we want to sell it. We want to sell it to whoever, you know, we don't like the restrictions on, on trade that we have right now. That's really... I have a real concern going forward on the decisions I make day to day on what I plant. Uh, um, I talk to Greg and his staff every other day and the question pops into my head and they had a client that said, hey, I've got this 40 acre field and I can't plant 20 acres er, of it. It was going to be torn. I think I'll just put beans in it. And they said, well, you can't do that because then you won't get your corn prevent plant. And, and there's going to be a lot of farmers that uh, they're just trying their hardest and, and uh, no one's been in this situation before. And, and uh, I guess in that case, the guy's just trying to do the best he can and might be penalized for it. We got 72 hours to report it after the 5th of a potential prevent plant and it doesn't hold you to that. You can withdraw your claim if sometime after that you get planted. But starting on June 5th, for a period of 20 days, you go into what's called a late planning period. And during that late planning period, then your, your guarantee gets reduced by 1% a day if you're planting that crop, because typically you won't grow as good a crop. Uh, so once you get out realistically past the 10th, 12th of June, a lot of folks look and say, I'm probably going to get caught by, caught by an early frost. I'm planting in the mud and I'm planting in poor conditions. At this point, I'm not a good steward of the soil, and so I'm not going to plant. You said you're on higher ground? I'm on high ground, but any place on top of the field where the water didn't just take off, I mean, that's soaked in, and now in the middle of the hill, the water just oozing out of the side of the hill. It's just like, yeah. never had water So, So how are you dealing with it then? Well, we went around some of the wet spots. I mean, we got most of our corn, we mudded it in. It looked terrible. And really? We just got finished here a couple mm -hmm. days ago. For the first time, I mean, I could, so I could, so what so what'll happen then is just like y low yields. Is, yeah, is I can't think we're going to get like anything miserably low. Uh, it's going to be very disappointing. I mean, yeah. if we we make 220 to 240 mm -hmm. typically, and this year we probably you know maybe 150 or 60, I'd have to be happy with. I have no idea. Um, and this is, and you've said this. This is like by far and away the worst Absolutely. situation we've ever seen. Absolutely. At least even in this area, and it sounds like the entire Midwest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, normally one to two percent of our of our policy count of our farmers um, may have a claim on a prevent plan in any given year. It's just a real oddity. It's just it just doesn't happen. They manage around it. The equipment that we've got nowadays, they can farm it quick. It don't take them long, but they need a window. They need some sort of a window. There has just not yeah. been a window this year whatsoever. Right. Yeah. So now we're looking at over 90% of our policyholders right now, we've turned in for a potential of a prevent plant claim. I don't know, we, we're, we're paying, I mean, we wanna, we've been out there about every other day trying to get water mm -hmm. moving and I, the, the, the water table's so high, I just think it's just not, I think we're, it, literally it's exposed. When you say get water moving, what do you like, do you fill? Surface you, drains, yeah, yeah. Okay. Trenches. make yeah. trenches. Yeah. Uh, upbeat's not the right word, but um, I mean, you guys don't seem like you're like. Can't change it. I mean, Mother Nature is in so. charge, so we, you can't. You, you, you know, just accept it. We're well, past I talked to a kind of dealer. Just just kind of, you kind of feel you like you're careful what you say to some yeah. some customers. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Like some like people are getting free tested. We've seen a lot of very depressed know, folks. Like, so how is that playing out? Talk about that. That it's 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 tough. I mean, we we've, we've heard the bottom of the barrel speech mm -hmm. with some folks, and it, like it is tough. They're getting they're getting emotional. Very emotional. Yeah. yeah, it's getting personal. Like one gentleman says, it's getting real now. Yeah. Uh, so when you look at the numbers, it's not playing out. The yeah. folks that are trying to plant, like you said, you know, they know they shouldn't be out there because it's not doing anything good for the ground for the next two or three years as well. When you start tracking the, the ground up like that, so now you're teetering between. You know, if, if my prevent plant payment's not adequate to what I feel and I'm trying to get a crop off that ground, but yet I'm also at risk now of hurting the next two or three years as I take that crop off yeah. with the tracks that I'm going to make and, and, you know, the compaction that I'm going to create in that soil. 
So everybody's trying to do what they can. I mean, and I, I'm amazed. I mean, guys, they want to plant. Nobody wants to collect a check right. and sit down for the summer. Right. They want to plant. They want to take. That's in the nature. I mean, they're 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 optimistic. They're still optimistic, and it amazes me sometimes. But there's there's a lot of critical situations out there right now. Yeah. There's so much that's out of their control when it comes to weather, and they're used to that. But they are seeing weather they've never seen in their entire lives that they're having to contend with. So that's one side of it. The other side, though is the unpredictability of the government. And that's a problem, you know? I mean, it doesn't have to be this way. Um, literally, out in Washington, D.C., we don't know from one day to the next what's going to be happening with tariffs. Um, and, you know, we have to react to what's coming out of the administration. And uh, so that is adding this extra layer of unpredictability. Um, and, the, you know, these are, these are people who, we need them to be successful. We as a nation need them to be successful. And, you know, we're standing right in the middle of where this is corn country, this is soybean country, and uh, they're hurting right now. We, we need to do what we can to make things more predictable.